Hello friends and welcome back to another how-to guide. In today's guide, we are going to be looking at how to unlock the IV checker in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and as we get into it, I'll just reiterate the point that this is a post-game feature, so you need to have completed the game before you can unlock this. Now, what you want to do is head to Winden up to the Battle Tower. Once you're inside, go to the check-in desk and speak to the person at the top on your left, and then select the you want to battle choose either the single or double battle option whichever your preference is single battle is what i chose because i thought maybe it would be a bit quicker but who knows then select your team and what you want to do is go into the first matchup you will see that you will be playing two trainers at a time and that will be one stage complete now what you want to be doing is getting through this and hitting that fourth stage once you hit the fourth stage and you complete it you'll come up against champion leon or ex-champion leon and once you beat him that will bring you back to the check-in desk and then they will notify you that the IV checker is now unlocked from the game. We've just got some game footage here of just to let you know that it's not a long process. There's about eight battles in total and it took me around 20 minutes tops to unlock the IV checker which isn't really too bad for what the IV checker offers you in game. It's such a valuable tool to have at your disposal so I would definitely recommend unlocking this as soon as possible especially if you are looking to breed some competitive pokemon and get those perfect pokemon bred up and it makes that process so much easier so as you can see we have it unlocked now and as we go a little bit further into it i'll explain how to use it so once you do have this feature unlocked what you can do is open your pokemon box and once you're in there you can hit the plus icon now that will bring up an initial screen of the stats if you press that plus icon once again it will bring up the iv judge and it will have a list of each individual iv and what their ranking is now these rankings are depicted from zero right through to 31 and each ranking will be assigned to a specific number as you can see on your screen right now i've highlighted what the iv judge rankings are so no good equals a zero iv which is great if you've got a trick room pokemon otherwise probably not so good decent is ivs 1 to 10 very good is 21 to 29 ivs fantastic is 30 iv and best is 31 iv so as you can see there on your screen that is how you read the judge comments and that should wrap up the video for us i hope you found this very helpful it is a very valuable tool like i say if you are going to be breeding those competitive pokemon make sure that you do unlock this it'll make your life a whole lot easier drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it please remember to subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and i will see you all for the next one so thank you very much for tuning in and that's it from me